Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and of a Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who's the so called black man. And I want to say peace and blessings to all the sincere Akim and elders that's pushing out this truth. Okay, uh, this is your brother, Officer Nakawam, and I just want to touch on reincarnation. Um, I had a page, it was called Nakawam Nazayar, but that page has been taken down maybe about for maybe about for a month now. And it had a lot of videos on that page. So so what I'm gonna be doing over time now is putting out um the same videos but basically updating it. Because as you grow in this truth, you know, you break stuff down better. Uh, you add on more precepts. Okay, your understanding grows. Okay, but I'm going to touch on reincarnation because a lot of people still don't get this whole reincarnation breakdown. I mean, it's easy. Okay, but we know ultimately you know, the most high, he has, he has to uh, give you the understanding to understand the to understand the scriptures to understand the breakdowns okay so this is reincarnation this is fact of repeated incarnation from re back again incarnation meaning a new embodiment so all it's saying is back again in the flesh okay because re means back and incarnation it says um if you go into the entomology of the word, Latin, incarn incarnary, be made flesh, okay? And caro, uh, caro, flesh, a piece of flesh. So back in the flesh, that's all it means. See, embodiment. Embody. Okay, in, a, in reference to a soul or spirit invested with a physical form. And that physical form is what? Your body, you see? Your uh, uh, your um, earthly house. That's all reincarnation is. Back in the flesh. I mean, it's just so simple. You're just back in the flesh. There's nothing spooky about it. Reincarnation, re regeneration, same exact thing. Back in the flesh. Okay, now let's go to examples of back in the flesh. So this is Matthew 11 and verse 12. It says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Now, Elias is the Greek way of saying what? Elijah. Okay. So here goes Yahweh Shai. Okay, see Elijah. So there goes Yahweh Shai saying that this is Elijah. This is Elijah, which was for to come. This is him. Let's go to different texts. CSB. And if you're willing to accept it, see, and if you're willing to accept it, that's why the Lord had to say, uh, 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 say phrases like that. He that have an ear, let him hear. If you are willing to accept it, because a lot of people cannot accept uh, on what we teach. Simple concepts. And if you and if you're willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who is to come. In a uh, New King James Version, and if you are willing to receive it, he is Elijah. John the Baptist is Elijah. Yes, this is Elijah. And if you're willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who is to come. And if you're willing to accept what I say, he is Elijah, the one the prophets said will come. Simple. Let's see. Let's see what the GNT says. Uh, let's see. Um, Matthew 11, GNT.
Okay. Oh, this is cold. This is cold. Matthew 11 and 14. And the GNT. And if you are willing to believe their message, John is Elijah, whose coming was predicted. Listen, then, if you have ears. So he literally said that John is Elijah. Now, people were asking him, uh, are you one of the prophets? Let me try and look that up. Um, are you Elijah? Because they asked uh, John the Baptist, was he um, was he Elijah? And he, and he said no. Here we go. John 1 and 21. Which through the spirit I knew it was John. First chapter. Well, this is John 1 and 21. It says. Let me start. At verse 19 it says. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites. From Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not, I, I am not Christ. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elias? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are thou that prophet? And he answered, no. So they asked him, are you Elijah? Meaning what? Our people had a concept. Our people have had an understanding of reincarnation back then. Okay. Now, why did John... The Baptist said, no, he's not Elijah, even though he was. Is this a is this a contradiction in the Bible? No. Let's see what the scriptures say. There's Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, the thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that, it is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. You see, so there is no new thing under the sun. That's why you get what? Deja vu. OK, I feel like I've been here before or or uh, or uh, feel like I know you from somewhere. There is nothing new under the sun, man. Everything is uh, reincarnated. Everything that we see is back. That's why America is is Rome is the Roman Empire 2.0 incorporated with Greece, Babylon, so on and so forth. Because there's no no thing under the sun. Verse 10. Is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. Is there anything that we can look at and say, wow, this is new? It has been already of old time, right? Woman, woman trying to be above the man. You read that in the book of Esther with King Artaxerxes' wife. There's nothing new under the sun. It says it has been already of old time, which was before us. Verse 11, this is the point. There is no remembrance of former things. You see, there is no remembrance of former things. So that's why we don't remember who we were in our in our in our past lives. And honestly, it doesn't matter. It says, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. OK, so there is no remembrance of anything. That's why John the Baptist said no, because he didn't know. He did not know. Now, let's get a, um, a few chapters later. It's Matthew 16. Now, let's start at verse 13. When Yahweh Shai came into the coach of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? So, so Yahweh Shai is asking, Who do men say that I am? Who do men think that I am? Verse 14, and they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. How can he be John the Baptist? John the Baptist died like two um, uh, chapters prior to this. Some Elias, some Elijah, wait, Elijah died, what, hundreds, thousands of years ago? So how can he be Elijah? And, and others, Jeremiah. How can he be Jeremiah? Or one of the prophets, or, or you're one of the prophets. How can this be? How can this be? If there is no concept of reincarnation, if there is no concept of reincarnation. The Bible just doesn't make any sense. Plain and simple. Just want to see what the GNT says. The GNT is a cold version. All right, so here we go. 
So it says, Yahusha went to the territory near the town of Caesarea Philippi, where he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? Some say John the Baptist, the answer. Others say Elijah, while others say Jeremiah or some, or some of the prophets. So it's so saying the same exact thing. Some people are saying that you're this person. Some, some are saying that you're that person. Okay? Plain and simple. Now let's get another scripture. Because that's done now. Don't need to be on a dead horse. Let me get this in Revelation. Revelation 10. I believe it's the last verse. Yeah, so this is Revelation 10 to 10. It says, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. So when did when did John the Revelator did that? Because he died on the island of Patmos. So when did John come back again? <laughs> what is the account of John leaving the island of Patmos at that age and prophesying? Where is that? Can anybody show me the source document? No, you can't because it didn't happen. John died on the, on the island of Patmos. Scholar says it. So John has to come back in the flesh and prophesy before many people, nations, tongues and kings. Point blank period. So that means what? He has to he has to be reincarnated. He has to come back in the flesh. That's what's going to happen. The spirit, the soul of, of John is going to come back in a new embodiment. Okay? Now, let's see what happens when you die. Because you don't go to hell when you die. If you're wicked. Everybody goes to the same place. Let's get that real fast. We all go to the same place. This is Job, the third chapter. Or Job 3, and I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? I'm going to go to jump. I'm going to jump to verse 17. It says, there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest. And where is this? It's all in the spiritual realm. The prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there and the servant is free from his master. This is all in the spiritual realm. Okay. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. It says, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Were, weren't weren't man uh, created out of the dust of the ground? Genesis 2 and 7. <laughs> and Yahweh power for a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And man became a living soul. So the most sought for a man out of the, out of the dust of the ground. So we're made out of the elements. So back to Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. It says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Mosai who gave it. So your spirit returns into the Mosai. That's what happens when you die. And then you come back. Let's get that. In the book of Second Measures. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, and verse 35. It says, For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again. For after death, so when you die, shall the judgment come. When you die, you go visit the throne of the Most High, and he gives you your judgment. When we shall live again, so we live again. We come back in a different body. But the same spirit, same soul. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So it says, for after death shall the judgment uh, come when we shall live again. 
right so how does so like how does this happen where do you get judged at do you go to hell let's see back in the book of ecclesiastes 3 and 16 it says and moreover i saw under the sun the place of judgment and what's under the sun the earth is under the sun so and moreover and moreover i saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of right and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there okay so the place of judgment is is obviously the earth because the sun is under the earth okay now i'm going to second samuel 7 and And 12. Now this is Nathan. The Nathan the prophet received the, received the word from the Lord and was prophesying this to David. So this is 2 Samuel 7 and 12. And if you don't believe me, you can read it for yourself. And when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, this is Nathan talking to David, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels. And I will establish his kingdom. This is talking about Solomon, right? It says, he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Tell me, uh, Samuel, right? I'm not Samuel, Solomon, right? Which is Shalomah in the Hebrew, which means peace. Which, so funny is, it says, I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. But King Solomon died, mind you. It says, I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men. Now, King Solomon did sin. But but the, the funny thing is, King Solomon died a peaceful death. So, when is that? So, when is verse 14 going to happen to King Solomon? Newsflash, it happened. To who? Yahweh Shah. Why? Because Yahweh Shah is King Solomon in the reincarnation. That's why he said, a greater Solomon is here. Okay? So that should be it on reincarnation. You know, it's a simple concept. But as the scripture says, he that he that hath an heir, let him hear. So little one, a few brothers, a few sisters, ratified. The next time I say shalom.